Hello everybody and welcome to Quick Play. I am Retromation and this is Dive Kick. This is a two-button fighting game that was made by Iron Galaxy. I've been having a lot of fun with it so far. So I wanted to cover it for Quick Play since, you know, I can't really do a good series out of it. Unless people want to go against me. If you have the game, I don't know, maybe I'd be interested. Let's see. But I just wanted to do a quick arcade mode. I've only played through the arcade mode once, and that is about my um, experience with the game, but I really like fighting games. I have not played any on the channel. I guess this is a nice one to start with. Um, let's, I don't know the difference between the dive and the kick gems, but we will get into the game and we will see. You say Mr. M has become, as the raw talent it would take to become one of the greatest of all time, but so far, so we've been seen riding the coattails of the best friend, dive kicking star Dustin Weinberger. When Mr. N suffered a brutal loss to Uncle Sensei at the World Championship, he paid a massive sum to have his brackets rigged in his favor. The result was a tournament in such disarray that everyone had, was disqualified and the tournament was cancelled, thus ending Sensei's 10-year win streak and forcing him into retirement. Mr. N fights because he needs money to pay off a debt he owed to mob boss Don Luo. If not for the debt, Mr. N would probably just stay at home eating four meals a day and play his favorite computer game, which he is terrible at. Many of you might not be familiar with the fighting game scene, but he is a very clear reference to uh, professional player Marn. Uh, you might actually know him from League of Legends now, too, because he's into that as well. And that's the game that he's terrible at that they were making fun of him for. <laughs> but, yep, you have two buttons. You have dive, which is to jump. You have kick, which is to kick. So it's one button, two button. And you can press both of them at the same time and do a special, but I will have to build up enough meter. And I got a headshot. Or, I got headshotted. And my special, would, it, you activate the special by pressing both of the two buttons. Mine is to run away. Huh. Oh, I thought I said it to three wins. Oh well. We don't have to finish, maybe we can just play a few, but it's just, there's a lot of, strangely a lot of depth to it for something that's so simple. I got a headshot on this guy, so now this turn, ugh, he is going to be slow for the first 10 seconds or something, makes it easy to rush him down right away. I, I think the art style is pretty, I think it's actually pretty nice. It's um pretty simple, cartoony, and I love all the, I love the character and all the characters as well. Ooh. Anyone else want to finish r running this bracket? I don't want to do it anymore. But all of the characters are pretty interesting references to things surrounding the fighting game community or people who helped donate to the Kickstarter that got it funded. Kung Pao is obviously related to Kung Lao. Ugh. From Tekken. Wait, not Tekken. Why did I say Tekken? It's Mortal Kombat. That, you should end me. <laughs> um, but like, there's characters that are references to like real people, like Marn is Mr. N, and then Kung Pao is obviously a reference to another fighting game character. There's a f um, it switches between those and just people surrounding the community. And there's even a character that makes fun of like the people in Twitch chat called stream I think there's a lot of oh and that that's the other thing there's aerial special mine's actually I like it a lot I don't know how good my character is but I do know that these characters are on medium difficulty and it's been pretty easy but there's there's a few options it's really easy to play on the same keyboard considering it only takes two buttons and you can act like you can change the buttons so quickly because it's just like it brings up a menu it's like what button do you want dive what button do you want kick it's badger did i really just see this badger do a dive kick the one smells worse than baby poop i know opportunity when i see one i'll capture you and make a fortune and like redacted is supposed to be an obvious reference to um wolverine uh, I, did, I didn't actually catch it for a bit, but, and then, um, they made his name redacted because they didn't want copyright things, and they made a joke out of it. 
Ooh. Ah. And I've been having a lot of fun with this. If anybody wants to play me in it, I, it, I usually don't play a lot of a lot of games multiplayer anymore. But this is one that I may be interested in, and I am destroying right now. I may have to do this whole thing just because I'm doing it so fast. Ah. Oh my goodness. Ah, boom! That's the first time that's happened to me. Got a headshot all five in a row and I get total domination. Well then, I'm doing so much better on camera than I did when I wasn't on camera and that is really never the case. And of course as soon as I say that I'm going to get something really, really bad to happen. But, it's probably a little known fact about me that I really, really, really enjoy fighting games. But I've never played any on the channel because I haven't been too great at them. Oh, oh, ugh. I was not expecting to come out of that well. Um, but yeah, I like Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Tekken, Soul Calibur, like all of it. I have so many fighting games. Ugh. But like I said, I, I'm not very confident in my skills in any of them. And if you're not, like, there's not a huge point, unless you, like, when you're recording fighting games, unless you're really bad and you want to be, like, funny with that, or you're really good and you want to show off your skills, there's not a, or, like, you have some bits of information or no combos or something, there's no, ah, dang it, I was hoping I would go under it, then, um, there's no real reason to make videos for it, and I am, oh my goodness, the throws, and I am none of those things, I am... I'm like a very middle ground, gosh, middle ground player. Like, I'm not, I would not call myself good, but I'm not bad enough for it to be funny. So, you just incite a lot of rage. But this is a different one, I think. I mean, especially because it doesn't have like a lot of coverage and it's... Ugh. Okay, this is getting intense. Oh, I went in for it at the wrong time. But yeah, this one doesn't have very much uh, coverage. There we go. I mean, it it's gotten some some coverage from some you some YouTubers recently, but ah, Dustin. Oh yeah, and Dustin Weinberger is a reference to Justin Wong. Uh, uh. Oh no, standing underneath people is actually a really safe place to be, unless you're my character. My character acts one of the weirdest angles of any of the characters. Most people go at a horizontal angle. I go pretty much straight down. Yeah, like you can see right there, he was really slow, because I got a headshot on, on him. There's a lot of really cool, tiny mechanic things in it that um, they could afford to really, really um, flesh out because of the simplistic controls, and I think that is absolutely great. And um, I had respect for this game just viewing it before, and after playing it, I have like a ridiculous amount of respect for it. And it is, like, if you like fighting games for, like, their mechanics and stuff, ugh, this person might be tough for me. Um, I highly recommend this game. I know, like, this isn't a review. That's not the point of, um, that's not the point of the series, the Quick Play series. The Quick Play is just supposed to be, be like, I want to play a game that I don't necessarily want to make a series on. Ah, uh, and this is the best way to do it. And I just want to give my opinions on the game, since I only have a short amount of time to talk about it. I want to, like, I want to let you guys know how I feel about it, but I don't want to... I don't want people to watch these videos and be like, oh, he's saying this is a good game necessarily, like, from a, like, a rating standpoint. Like, I, I'm just going to tell you if I have fun with it and if I would, like, like, from, if, if you would say friend to friend, like, yeah, I like this game kind of thing. I don't necessarily want to be, like, this game 
meets a specific standard in any area or whatever. It's like, ah, uh, all I know is that I have a lot of fun with it. And, like, I would, if talking to a friend, I would talk highly of it. Ooh! I was not expecting that. And even when I win, I, I cry and eat, of course. <laughs> Promising career as a team manager. That is a reference to um, when he left the fighting game community for a bit and he went over to the League of Legends community. He he uh, started his own team called Team Marn. He was on it and he was in charge of it, but then he left because a lot of people said he was really bad. Alright, I'm still in school. Everyone does what I want. They clearly do not have a high opinion of, of poor Marn. But... He has done some strange things in the fighting game community. Oh! Oh gosh. This is a really... This is a really hectic matchup, actually, because we both have roughly... Roughly the same angle, actually. Oh, there's Uncle Sensei in the background. Ah! Oh, when I get kicked, my little, uh... My neck pillow goes away. Oh, I knew that one was going to go well as soon as, like, there's a really good game feel you can get when you play this. It's like, it's like, you press the button and you, sometimes you just, oh, you just know. Like, right there, I, di I didn't actually know who was going to come out on top from that one. But I think it's like, whoever's higher up in the air almost is what it seems like. But, I don't know, like, or, I don't know, there's, most of the time though, it really does feel... It feels really accurate. Like, when a conflict happens, like, 95% of the time, I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Who won there? Oh! Oh! And I really like that uh, Mr. N has a lot of references to League of Legends in his... Oh, <laughs> there's a girl off screen that can't see me getting rejected, too. I wonder how far I am in the arcade. I might be on the boss now. And then, Markman is a reference to um, a Mad Cat's employee, I believe. And he plays a lot like Phoenix Wright in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where, or Ultimate, where he can pick up parts to create a little Mad Cat's controller that gives him a really big increase in oh, stuff. And this is not going well. Oof. Oh, no. And if, I don't know, this is, is maybe a little bit silly timing to say because I don't want to come off like I'm complaining. It's just a, a fact that I've noticed some characters are definitely have advantages in certain matchups because of like how certain angled kicks interact with other angled kicks. I'm not trying to say that I don't know, I have no idea if this guy has an advantage over me. But I just, I did want to bring that up. Ugh. And that does bring... A lot of people do like that in, like, Street Fighter and stuff. They like to figure out who has the advantage and or who's supposed to have the advantage. And I... I don't know. I have a feeling I don't have the advantage here, but... Once again, I don't know. But I just wanted to get a quick video in on Dive Kick because I really like it. And I think this is about... This is about where I'm going to end it. But I just wanted to make the video because I am having a lot of fun with this game. I haven't played it that much, but I already know that... I, I appreciate it. I think it's really, really nice. And if you like fighting games from, like, a, a technical, mechanical level, I do recommend this. Maybe look for a Steam sale and pick it up. I think it is $10 without a Steam sale. I got it for, like, two fifty, and that was a very reasonable price for it. But, yeah, thank you all for watching Quick Play. Thank you, thank you.